What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Sneakerhead on a budget, one of the hardest working sneakerheads on YouTube. Go give me a like, share, subscribe. Definitely help the channel out because YouTube be holding us down out here, budget fam. Damn! <laughs> All right, so boom, guys. I do have an unboxing here, a special unboxing for me. If you do like content like this and other things we have on this channel, go ahead and leave a like, share, subscribe. Again, it helps us with this channel, especially because we're so close to a thousand subscribers. And you can help us get us there but one sub if you don't like the content you can you can unsub but it does help us out on this channel so let's go into this review real quick because i don't want to hear it i don't want to hold y'all back oh my god how sweet so first before we get into this unboxing i do have to show you guys this new pickup i just got i'll be real quick don't worry about it new pickup i'm really excited about these and i don't know why i got these on the still on ebay they were very very cheap and so your boy picked them up got them verified and they just came in and that is these right here these silver toe air jordan ones i'm really happy i picked these up and i do understand the reason why they were a little cheaper than usual there is some of that paint getting off the silver paint over here on these ones right here but i don't really mind i think it brings a little little character to the shoe especially because i came with these silver laces inside and i don't know why i dug that so much usually i always go default and i go with black but this one, I seen the silver, and I just had to stick with that. So shout out to eBay Verification, and shout out to the person who put these on for, for a steal of a deal, because your boy be looking. And these are actually pretty damn fire when you look at it like that. And I think these are one of my pickups of the year. Um, definitely top 10, especially I do the end of the year, you know, thing. And you'll see, the, you'll probably see these on it, because I really like the way these look, especially with these silver laces. Man, oh man, I really like the way these look. So definitely a new pickup, and I definitely do like these. So let's get into what you came here for. Shout out to No Just Do It on the box. Shout out to Nike Final Learning. If you listen to the podcast, kick out with this podcast with me and Chris. You know your boy finally caught a dub on a sneakers app, which is a rare feat in itself. So let's go ahead and pull this out. And as you know by the box, and you see by the box, this is an Air Jordan 3. Go ahead and check that right there. And your boy's size, the size 11 and a half. As we check out the box, as we always do, we do have that Jumpman on the top, that Nike on the side, and that elephant print that's usually on the bottom that graces these. It's all around. We do have another Nike on the back. Lifting this up. We do have the red inside of the box. I love that smell. And we have this here, you know, a little breakdown of the Jordan 3, which usually comes in these shoes when you do get a Jordan 3 fresh, or especially when it comes to the OG colorway, they definitely always throw these in there, and I do appreciate it, definitely for the nostalgia look. So now here we go. You do know, I always check out the paper, as we do here, and we do know they put the elephant print as they do on the Jordan 3, they have the elephant print paper, so let's bust these out. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Bruh. The Air Jordan 3 Fire Red. We do have that Nike Air tab in the back. Now these are the closest to the OG that we've seen. On the recent retros, you know, sometimes they sent it out and we have really, 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 really dark elephant print on the side. I like those, most people don't like those. Those are very nostalgic to me during high school because that's when those released and a lot of the Jumpman in the back. As we do see, we have the Nike Air in the back of these. So if you want to compare these to the OGs, these are the closest thing to the OGs that we have seen from the Fire Red 3. So when we look at, take a look at that, we do have that leather on the side. It's not the best leather. It's still good leather, but it's not super premium leather. I'll say that. Um, definitely have some uh, design flaws in there. I don't know if you can see it right there because of my light, but you do see there's some ind indentations over here on the leather. But uh, regardless of that, we do have the light elephant print, as I've mentioned before, which is more similar to the OG. And we do have it right here on the toe box as well. Now, the OG is a little bit thinner up here, so I don't mind a little bit more on here, but I do like these. Um, looking at the colorway, as we said before, um, this is an OG colorway, super clean. We do have the jump mat on the tongue right here. On the inside, we do have that Nike Air right there. You can see that, and we do have the paper insert because we didn't get a shoe tree on this. Always gotta do the sniff test because I love brand new sneakers. Oh my god, that's amazing! But again, here's the shoe as we do before, and then here is the other one right 
here. So I am looking at, and then we see another flaw right there. As I pull this one out, we do have something on the little toe box. You might be, there we go. You can see it a little right there. Um, the crazy thing about these is I don't really hit on sneakers out as, as much as I would. I think a lot of people say that. I did hit on these. I had a pair of the, uh, the, the newer retro of the Fire Reds. I did sell them because I did have... Um, I was definitely going to get these. And I don't need both. So now, one day I do have... I will get the old ones and these ones just so I can have both. But at this point in my life, I don't need both of them sitting here. Especially because I'm going to be wearing these the most. Um, so... Uh, looking at the the shoe itself, I'm really excited at what they did with the shoe. They definitely kept it a little similar to the OG, and they definitely put a lot of love in the shoe, so I definitely appreciate that from Jordan brand. Um, uh, I see a lot of people put fire red laces in it. I'm just going to keep it as it is. Some people put gray laces in it. I see a lot of people put elephant print laces in this. I'm just going to keep it how it is right here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to rock it with this Nike thing sitting on the back. I usually don't. Usually when it comes to my other shoes, I kind of take it off. Um, with these ones, I might leave it on. We'll see what I do with that. But what do you guys think? Because I do know a lot of the time, these shoes are sitting. They're not really, they haven't sold out. It looks like Nike made a lot of pairs of these. I'm here for it. When it comes to being a sneakerhead, I'm here for it. I want the shoe. I want to have the shoe. And I can care less who's wearing it as long as my fit is better. I can care less. But a lot of people do care. And I don't think these were limited, uh, which I'm happy for because I was able to get a pair. But a lot of people were not happy with that. So there are a few pairs sitting. So do not worry. Do not buy resale, guys. Go to your stores. Go to your malls. Um, a lot of people are posting pictures of these sitting, which is great. We're in a great time now to be a sneakerhead. A lot of these shoes that are releasing, especially some of the OGs, are definitely sitting there. So when they do, definitely grab a pair. Because we're not going to get that a lot. But when we do get it, definitely take your time. Put these on feet and see how you guys like these. Um, again, it's buy what you like season out here. And definitely, I was so happy to finally pull these in. So for you guys... Did you guys cop the Fire Red 3s? Are you going to wait? Are you waiting for them to go on sale? What are you guys doing? I'm definitely excited that I put these in the collection. I'm definitely going to throw these up over here on the little panel as we got here. So again, this is your boy Sneakerhead on a budget. I definitely appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Let me put these up right here. I definitely appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Again, if you subscribe to the channel, it definitely gets us close to a thousand subscribers. I appreciate you guys. Check out the podcast. Check out the social media. Check out Sneakerhead on Budget on Instagram. The Real My Peas on Twitter. Where I do post links. I do post funny things. I do post sneakers. So I do appreciate you guys for rocking with me. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.